Hi, my name is Kate Naito. I'm a dog trainer in Brooklyn, New York with Doggy Academy, and I'm going to show you how I feed my two dogs, Batman and Beans, using this device called a Treat and Train. And it's a treat dispensing device that has a remote control so you can control when the treats come out, or in this case, when the meals come out. Um, Batman is a rather bossy dog, and Beans is the opposite. She's very skittish and pretty shy, but I find that the treat and train is a really effective way for both of them to get some mental stimulation and actually some exercise while they're eating their meals. So this is how I fed them this morning. So the game is, when Batman touches his nose to the target stick, I hit the remote control, that causes the beeping sound, and then treats come out of the treat and train. It's actually his breakfast. I start from very close proximity, so that the target stick is practically next to the treat and train. That gets easy pretty quickly, so I start to move the target stick a little bit farther every two or three tries. You'll notice that Batman occasionally looks up at me, like, you know, hey lady, where's my treats? I'm actually looking at the target stick. I'm not engaging with Batman at all. So he's learning that his actions will dictate whether he's going to get that food or not. He's really got to think it through on his own. And that's why I like this game. Even though I'm there, I'm kind of staying out of it. And then we have beans. As you can see by her body language, she's much more skittish than Batman. She's currently reluctant to actually touch the target stick. So I'm shaping this behavior, meaning when she just approaches the target stick, I'm going to push the remote control, which causes the beep and the treats to come out. The beep the purpose of that is to mark the moment that she did the thing I was looking for. In this case, it's approach the target stick. Eventually, as the session goes on, you'll see that she's getting closer and closer to the target stick. For a shy dog like her, this is a really great activity. It's teaching her that she can interact with her environment and actually control her environment. When she approaches that target stick, she makes treats magically come out of this box. That's a really great skill for her. It's not something that I have to do for her. It's something that she's able to do on her own. And as you can see, she's starting to get more and more into it and less and less afraid. So this is when I'm going to move it a little bit farther away to have her walk a greater distance to get her treats. We're upping the challenge little by little. This is only Bean's third time interacting with the treat and train and the target stick. And as you can see, she's really picking it up. She seems to get the idea. Beans is no scholar, so I really believe that any dog given the time to figure out what the game is all about can enjoy this as a rainy day activity or as a confidence builder.